Hello and welcome to Southside Garage. Today we're going to make a wheel chock for this VN2000. Uh, it'll look similar to this one here that I built for the Triumph. Uh, can't use this one because it's made for a, a bike with a 110 wide front tyre only. And this one will be uh, specific for this bike. And um, it, it, or any bike that, that has a 150 wide front tyre. So uh, I'll just go through with you the materials that I'm using. This channel at the bottom here, this is a 200 by 75 coal form channel and it is 770 millimeters long. These feet on the bottom, that's 100 by 50 RHS. And they are 870 long. That one and that one. So there's two of those. Um, these eyelets here uh, just came off of some old electric motors. Now, these two bits of RHS I've got sitting on top here, they're 50 by 50 RHS, and their purpose is to be welded onto that coal form channel at 150 wide to the inside. And that's where the front tire is going to run up in there and be nice and uh, held, held snug uh, in there. Uh, these miters here, they're there to help guide the front tire in there so there's no sharp edges. So once you come up this ramp here and into there, those miters will just guide the tire straight into that slot. This ramp here, this is a piece of 6mm plate and it is 150 by 250 what's the size of that uh, these bits are 50 by 50 RHS they're 45 degree miters and the length to the longest point of the miter is 650 millimeters so we'll get that welded up and then we're also going to have a vertical section coming up here uh, that the front tire will also uh, slide into and uh, we'll probably make that out of these but uh, I'll get this this part of it knocked up first and then uh, we might give it a test fit and so on make sure everything's okay before we proceed and then we'll make the last of it uh, out of this material that we have here or possibly uh, some pipe or round bar that's over there but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it So this is what we're up to now. Get all these pieces welded together. Uh, we just get it back up on the bench and I'll show you what we're going to do next with it. Okay, so next I'll be welding on these two pieces here. They're both 100 by 50 RHS at 400 millimeters long. And front wheel will come in here like that and it'll jam itself in there and hold the bike upright. I've actually uh, already tested this bottom piece out. I wheeled the bike in there and it stood up by itself just in there because it's a nice snug fit. Uh, once I get those welded on then I've got these couple of pieces of 16mm round bar and they'll just go on here like that as a brace 
so that you know if the bike does want to lean one way or the other uh, that'll hold everything steady and then after we've done that we've still got a little bit more to do there'll be something at the front here um, to stop the, the front tire when it's uh, when it's forward far enough and, um, and then that'll probably be it I'm not sure that I'm going to put those eyelets on there I don't think I really need them uh, but anyway we'll see how we go This is where we're up to now. Got those uprights in, braces on there. All we need now is a stopper at the end here uh, where we want the front wheel to stop put something down there or something in here but, uh, we'll work it out tomorrow and, um, and then we'll paint it so all about it now to finish this off is a piece of uh, 50 by 50 RHS just here as a brace and that's uh, 300 mil long and another brace up the top there, which is a piece of 50 by 8 flat bar, and it's uh, 180 long. So uh, we're ready to put the bike up here and see how it goes. So now that we've got the bike setting up straight and securely, we can start pulling these uh, boards off and start making the foot pegs. Um, it's also handy like when you want to check your oil and that. This is uh, three separate oil compartments, but in the one sump. So if you can get your bike up straight like this and leave it sit for quite a while before you check the oil, you get a much accurate, more accurate reading. Um, also, if you wanted to remove your rear wheel or anything like that, once you've got the bike standing up straight like this, you can stick a jack underneath the swing arm or the back of the frame there and jack the rear up, do whatever you want to do, adjust your belt, take your back wheel off or whatnot, or even just get it a little bit higher to give you more ground clearance to get under there to change your wheel or whatnot. thing is to get a nice snug fit uh, against your tyre through there so you know, you've got to make that part fairly accurate and the bike will just stand up in there by itself it's not going anywhere but, uh, you can also put a couple of straps on there as well if you wish or just put the bike in gear and um, just be mindful if you jack it up the back wheel that you know, it won't be in gear any longer you know, it won't be, the wheel won't be touching the ground but anyway, that's it. And uh, safe riding everyone. Catch you on the next one.